in the developers uh, portal you can download sample code uh, we're going to download the multiple detail view code and launch it in Xcode and we'll do a build and run just to see what uh, comes with that project uh, what I'm going to show is how to bring a uh, third view controller into this project. Uh, I'm going to be bringing a view controller with class files that I developed for an iPod iPhone application and I'm going to get them to work uh, within this project. Uh, the original project shows this. It's got two view controllers. Uh, you can see it's a split view controller and that's what comes with the package. I'm going to drag uh, from my own documents the previous class files that I created for uh, a project that was for the iPhone and iPod like I mentioned. I'm going to bring in the H, the M and the nib file. Make sure you copy the items into the destination groups folder. And I'm going to pull the uh, nib file down into the other resources where the, the other nib files are. And what I end up doing is taking uh, the relevant code from the first detail view controller and copying and pasting it into my new or my class that I dragged in. So this is the protocol I'm adding here. It allows my supply view controller to be a substitutable detail view controller, which is important uh, in this project. And you're going to have to see that I'm going to have to import the root view controller into the supply view controller header. There's a toolbar in this project. The class file that I dragged over does have a toolbar. I'm going to have to modify that to make sure that it works with this project though. But uh, make sure you have an IB outlet to a UI toolbar and that it's synthesized and released properly. So from the first detail view controller implementation file, I'm going to copy and paste some relevant code into my supply view controller. I'm just nilling out the uh, toolbar here. I have to delete some code that I had from my previous file uh, that uh, dealt with the toolbar because it's going to interfere with uh, the way the toolbar is handled in this project. And back from the uh, first detail view controller, I'm going to copy these three items here. Show root popover button item invalidate root popover button item and should auto rotate to interface orientation. So copy those over to the supply view and I'm going to paste them in there. There you go. And making sure the toolbar is released, which it was in my existing code already. And going into the uh, root view controller, I'm going to have to add the supply view controller. So I'm going to import that here with the other view controllers. I'm going to change the height of the uh, popover view control as well. Uh, you'll see in a second. So the row height is only showing two items right now. I'm going to move it up to eight so you can see a larger view there. I'm going to change the uh, sections to three because now I have a third view controller that I'm going to add in there. Okay, now I'm going to modify this if statement. I'm going to remove this else section and I'm going to add two if statements for row one and two and that'll allow me to show my view controller that I've just brought into the project as well. And you can see I could change this to uh, whatever title you want. Uh, mine's supply view controller but you can call that whatever you want. And I'm going to go down here in the uh, did select road index path and add a new uh, if statement for the second row. I'm going to add supply view controller, which is the name of my class file that I've brought in. 
I'm going to launch the nib supply view controller as well. Have a look to make sure I got everything uh, I need in this file. Uh, build and run and see what we have here. I have an error, Let's see what it is. Oh, I've just redefined view did unload, so I'll delete that. I already had it in there. Uh, build and run. And you can see the third item showing up there now. The first two are still working like they were. And the third view has uh, showed up. And you can see that the nib file is designed for iPod and iPhone. Uh, and there was no toolbar there. So I'm going to launch X, or, uh, Interface Builder. And I'm also going to launch first Detail Views nib file. Just so I can copy the toolbar from there and paste it into the Supply View nib just to make sure it matches up. There's a couple items, like I have a scroll view in the file that I brought over. Uh, I'm gonna go back and uh, remove that at some point because I won't need it in this larger interface. But uh, for the demonstration purposes here, I'll leave it for now and uh, it'll work just fine. There's the toolbar from the first detail view controller which ships with the sample code. So I'm going to copy that, uh, go into my uh, nib file for the supply view and paste it. Try and paste it in the right spot here. So you can see it uh, showed up in the middle of my file. I'm going to have to move that up uh, to the top. And make sure the connection in the file's owner to the toolbar is uh, now uh, pointing to this toolbar. Save. Back to Xcode. And build and run. So now you see the uh, toolbar on the top. And you can see how the third view controller uh, showed up and is working. Uh, the way it's intended. I can go back and uh, change the nib file to uh, look good on um, the iPad, but uh, you can see what's needed to get this working in, in this project.